house. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all. Where's hey, Chucks? We're in the studio. You listen to WHEA, WHEA, uh, 88.9 from Heidelberg <laughs> University broadcasting live. This is Birds and the Bees. What's happening? What's going on with y'all, man? This is Randy. This is Avery. Juice. And we got my boy Dante Die in the studio with us today. Right, man, man. We kind of used to. Man. We kind of used to Kendall coming after that, but Kendall has business things with 10 2 so he ain't here right now. Yeah, he had to slide back to Cleveland. Shout out to my I boy. Thought, I know he out there listening to us. Oh, yeah. But it's all good. And Dante, that was your part to like jump in and say, and Dante Die. And Come Dante Die. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Come on, bro. You better hop in and step in yeah. the mic and say what's up to the people, boy. Oh, good, morning, shy, guys. good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How you guys doing? I'm Dante Die. Nice to meet you. You can talk at any mic you want to. Yeah, nice. it's all good. You can just choose one. It really nice. doesn't matter. They can hear you. They, okay, good. <laughs> they can hear you. Yeah, Mom, he's going to be kicking it with us today, man. But y'all know we got a good show lined up like we always do. But this ain't just some regular dude that we just know from campus and stepped up to this building. It's a different kind of man. Yeah, we got a, stu- the man. We got a superstar in here with us. It's today. the myth. Heidelberg legend. It's the legend not himself. Not at all. I'm confused with this fat rock on his finger. He got I'm talking about oh, yeah. early. Yeah. I'm talking about, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about moms. Yeah, I said something. I'm, I'm, here. <laughs> right. I'm talking about this man. It's just what moms used to do, man. I'm talking about, what? like, not like that. I mean, like, moms used to, like, tell stories to you before, like, you know, like, when kids want to go to bed. Hey, you ever heard the fable of Dante Die? How you slayed all the dragons and, you know, you know all that good oh, stuff? Oh, wow. He's oh, he did that. You the legend. You that annoying. one. Man. You Cincinnati talk, man. You annoying. <laughs> of course, it's just Dante Die talk. You want to say it's stats? Stats, man. I don't know. You know stats better than I do. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Division three All-American. You know what I'm saying? Ed Sherman Award winner. He's a receiver of the year in the OAC. He's doing big things, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let him talk about himself later on. Um, but, yeah, that was, that's the best intro I can give right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> that was the you know best saying? intro. Yeah. That was the best intro you can get. For right now, boy. Yeah, man, he's going to be kicking with us all night, so. For the moment, that's his best intro. (laughs) (laughs) It'll be a better one coming soon, though. Right, right. But we definitely always got some great topics for you all today. Get an intro. Get an intro to the topics, bro. We can't tell them everything, bro. You don't want to tell them. I know the intro might be telling the people, bro. I'm just so excited. Bro, relax, man. I just can't help myself. But other than that, though. You know, we got some bangers on the way. You know, we all do. <laughs> always do. But, you know, you want to, who gonna sign us out this time? Should it be Dante? Why not, Dante? You'll step up to the plate, man. Well, Listen, we ain't gonna take what to say. Just say something. Just sign <laughs> us off. Just sign us off. Oh, yeah, y'all might have to see if you done it. Then I can. You know, okay, man. Right let me get one under my belt with y'all. Let <laughs> somebody sign us off, man. Go ahead, bro. Birds and the bees. We'll be right back, yo. <laughs> it does everything you need to, Dante. Yes, uh, okay. Yeah, look at uh, I don't know, man. Dante Da, Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm eating um, hot flames right now. That he is, man. He's eating real hot flames. Tell my boys, man. In the studio. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. <laughs> I told him last week I was going to come in every day, so now I feel bad. So now I want to kick it with him all day. It's all good, man. That's love. Yeah, definitely, bro. We're glad to have you, homie. Thanks, man. My mic look way better than yours, homie. <laughs> <laughs> It do though. They do a dirty <laughs> on the right side. I retire. It's cool, man. They could have set up here and just throw the great mics everywhere around here. That wouldn't work. That's how like ten mics everywhere. No man, we try to get them to throw us in the big studio though. The it's a bigger studio? Yeah, the one over there. It's like a huge studio over there in the corner, but let's go. <laughs> that's man, they I'm told us about. our music wouldn't be that appropriate for the radio station. That's, yeah, that's that, that ain't what they said. That's just not really that is what they told us, man. That's like the city of Tiffin's radio station. We can get on that. They said it's probably like oldies. And Eventually. They ain't ready for us. We'll, we'll make just, our way up. In other words, I just heard there's too many bangers that right. <laughs> old people just couldn't take out. Not ready. But Randy got you with the topics. We're about to get into it right now. Oh, yeah, man. We got a real good topic. So, uh, shout out to Ken Daly. Like he said, he couldn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Big Kill. He planned to see for this topic. Kendall. Is, uh, Kendall. <laughs> how would you feel about talking to somebody or would you talk to someone who had a uh, kid? Um, yeah, who has children? So, like, uh, how do you feel about that topic? Um, four one nine four four eight twenty two hundred. Yeah, man, definitely call in. Give me your thoughts. Definitely right. call in. Oh yeah. How do you yeah. feel, you Randy? Know we had the phone lines going how do you feel, how do Randy? Feel, man? If she had a kid right now, like an older kid, not like you know, not like a a baby that you can grow with, but like a kid, how do you feel? Yeah. Yeah, you baby, you can grow. Yeah, baby. What, what does that even mean? Saying, I was, I was <laughs> know, man. No, man. So but, maybe like out of like a couple months, and it's not really that big of a deal. Right. Right, man. I couldn't do it, man. Honestly, myself, like I just couldn't. 
deal with the pressure of a kid, whether it's mine or not, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that brings on, on a lot of drama too. I'm not ready to deal with, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to whip the baby daddy around and toss him in my face. What if you like Debo? Like, wow, man, Debo, yeah, man. Just Debo, stay away, bro. Yeah, Debo, <laughs> I'm backing off, no question. But, no, man, I just couldn't handle that responsibility. But there's a lot of men better than me out here, so <laughs> I don't know. That's just my take. Avery, what's your take, bro? Let's go around the room, bro. I'm just asking, man. You know what I'm saying? You trying to say, man, to me, you know? So um, people can. I've done it before, so I mean, it really wasn't that big of a deal to me. Oh, this guy. It wasn't. I, I did do it. Dante, tell you, what's the problem? Go ahead and elaborate, dude. Yeah, right. man. You're all playing around, man. Get off your phone, baby. I'm trying to come on. I'm trying to come on the show, man. Get off your phone, dog. It's I'm trying to help, man. Everybody else out. I know they're out there listening. Usually the phone I would have been buzzing by now. It's not. I'm kind of feeling real hurt. We got to get into it a little bit, bro. All right. Come on. So, okay, Loom. All right, look. Ain't got to say no names or nothing. Date this girl. Um, Knew her for a minute. Well, so I've been like a little kid for real. Uh, and then came back into my life. She had a kid. Um, but the kids make about, you know, um, they're about a good, like, six or seven months. I, I didn't really have a problem with it. Um, but the problem with that is, is that the baby was starting to get attached to whoever's around. So, you know, I was with her for a couple of years. So the baby was attached to not just me, but my family. So, I mean, that wasn't, I mean, I didn't really find it as a big of a deal. Because, I mean, the baby was about, like, one or two. So, I mean, it wasn't really a lot that's going to do. I mean, you know. But I feel like if it gets a little bit older and the baby's about, like, five or six or seven, now that's where the problems come in. Cause it's just, <laughs> At that point, you're talking to a milk, man. Nobody away. Yeah, man. I don't know how that five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's, that's crazy. Like You're talking to a cougar or something like that's that. Just, that's a whole other time. I mean, no, no. I mean, yeah. That's a whole other time. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 right now, though, like, you know, like, you know, I think it's all about where you at in age. Because if you were about, like, 25 and she got a kid, I mean, you're not really caring about it that much. Right. I mean, that's just, you not know, a given. Like, okay, what happened? Boom. Now, where do you go from now? And my phone's buzzing, so I'm going to pass this topic to somebody else. Dante or Juice? All right, bro. Man, it's Juice. Yeah. All right, so, on, on, I mean, on this topic, man, it's real complicated. You feel me? Like, when you, you, you're trying to establish a relationship with somebody who has a child, you know, it, it's a whole different ball game. You feel me? So, I mean... It's like you. It's it's a whole lot of other factors that's involved, and I mean, personally myself, I think yeah, I could do it, but I mean, it, I don't think I don't think we would be able to take it all the way because you know it's just it's that certain factor. Like at the end of the day, you thinking like, man, what if her baby daddy just come back along and snatch her out of me, out of like, right, you that's know, something else, you know, because like you know, at the end of the day, you, like, what's what's best for the child is you know for them to have their mother and their father in the same house. You know what I'm saying? You know, I would want that for. You know, anybody, I mean, because, you know, I ain't had that myself, you feel me? So, I think at the end of the day, you, you I mean, you got to you gotta sit down and you want what's best for the child. But at the same time, I mean, you got to consider everybody having So, I mean, it's real confusing, but okay. some, pe some people make it work. So, yeah. I mean, that's how that go. Definitely, some people do make it work. And like Avery was saying, you know what I'm saying, sometimes you can be a parent to that, to that child, you know what I'm saying? You can grow up with them. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing not. wrong with it at all. That's definitely a good point. And it's not, we not just, for everybody listening right now, let me get a bunch of texts like what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> we not just talking about if a female has, you know, um, a kid and a dude trying to talk to her, because y'all gonna start thinking like, okay, well, it's just, this topic is just for males. We're talking about switching, you know, the road around to like, what if a dude has um, a child? Like, females, like, what do you do? Do you really care about it? You know, is it your business? You know, like, you know, like, let us know. 419-448-2200, man. Let us know. Lock that in. Like, until y'all start calling, I know y'all Dante is going to start talking about his opinion. Dante, <laughs> what do you think? Go ahead and slide that mic to that man. So man, can... listen, y'all going to be highly disappointed in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> highly disappointed. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Don't bring him, her over. No, I'm not having it. So, not so you bro, just don't want to be involved, period. You don't want no... No, sir. <laughs> no affiliation with the kids. Got, gotta be a Beyonce. That's the case. Oh, man. So Beyonce That's came to today. She, so she came to you today with Blue Ivy, then what? He's a liar! He's my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Ivy is mine. <laughs> Forever and ever. That's our kid. If it ain't Beyonce, it ain't having it. No, sir. I hear it, man. I heard it. The kids are bosses, man. They are. They run the household. Kids, kids are bosses. They do. Definitely they run the household. They want, they're gone. Yeah, and it takes... It take, 
What is this man doing? What? Man, what are you doing? What is this man doing? Uh, Somebody needs to call in and serve this man in <laughs> food. <laughs> it's on Snapchat. Live on it. Oh, oh, oh my God. What is, what is about the show? Though? Did that make it better? Bro, you gotta listen to that over break, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this man is tripping. That's right, <laughs> one. I forgot who's on here, man. For real, though. Man, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I was all listening to Dante's man. great comments. And I just, I just, you know, was out of it. I strike one. Just was out of it. Uh, and there it is. Here we go, man. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Birds and the bees, you live on there, man. Wow, wow. banging. Look, man, I don't get enough of y'all banging on me, man. That's my job, man. He banged, man. That's oh, <laughs> It's really you can't, you making can't. me feel some type of way. You can't go bang on Randy because he gonna make Randy really upset. All right. It must be basement man. Okay, they call him back. Birds and the bees, what's going on with you? Hello. Yeah, man, you live on there. What's going on? Hey. Oh, big kills. What's going on? What's well, you don't have to make the phone call. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> All right, well, she, I, well, I just want to say what's up to everybody. How are you? What's going hey. on, bro? Yeah, we miss you in the studio, G. What's going on, man? Yeah, I'm about to stop me. You know, I know a lot of people who uh, talk to females who have children. And I'm going to let a female talk to me with my child. So, uh, or I have. But I want to say, like, I guess, like, uh, basically, it's, it's not like she's not, she's not like, uh, the baby is not like any, that my girlfriend's responsibility. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I had her before my girlfriend came around, so she really, she didn't have to worry about being with me for enough reason to get married and I was like, hey, need to be my stepmom now. Girlfriend? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like... Girlfriend? I'm a child, I'm not gonna have to incorporate you into her life. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah,
you she don't gotta be around the baby at all. If the baby don't want his, his girl to see the baby, and then she won't see the baby at all. But you know, if you have to wear a female, you have custody. Like you don't see the baby because, like, it's just gonna happen. Like it should happen like that. So I mean, it's kind of it's a different situation, though. But you know, same outcome. Well, that's all I had to say, y'all. So. Thank you, son. Thank you. Right, appreciate it, bro. All right, thank you. It's as if he never missed a beat. It's as if he's yeah. here with us right now. All over every back, like he just never left. Oh, yeah, he never left. I just, man. Like he right here in the studio with him. I mean, I mean, I feel like I answered the question the right way. I answered it like the way I felt about it. I mean. Yes, but that's the main thing, though, because I feel like a lot of these dudes out here wouldn't want no parts of that. You feel me? Like, like me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's what bro. Like, like like that's a lot, man. Like you stepping in a relationship, I mean, you you gon' especially depending on like how long y'all been talking or been together. You feel me? You gon' have to, you know, step up and take on some of them responsibilities, yeah. man. And it's like, like Randy would say, bro, either you shoot or dribble, bro. Like, yeah. I thought that was a Kendall comment. It is a Kendall. Think comment. I think the I Kendall dribble. comment. The Kendall comment. Wow, you gonna part. make this man call in here and start going crazy? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna, be sorry to me, He's gonna shoot or dribble. Shoot or dribble. That's just either one of the two, but you know. I mean, I really like you know, like I said, like I really don't have a problem with it, and I really don't have a problem with Dante's comment either. Where he said that he's not going to have it because he has that right to choose it. I mean, it, unless it's right. Beyonce. But here's the thing, though. You know what I'm saying <laughs> we we're all males here. Kendall just called. You know what I'm saying, and we're giving a male perspective. I want to see how the girls, you know what I'm saying, our female listeners feel about. Uh, Dude, they so corny, but they're texting my phone about it, but they can't call in here. Yeah, yeah I definitely want to hear the female man, man, man like. What if a dude got a kid and I mean it has you know custody of of the child from primarily? So I mean y'all go ahead and let us know how y'all feel about that. Right, and it's definitely a difference between like I'm saying like Avery said the kid's walking around but it's not he knows all the time. It's compared to someone who's actually taking care of their child. You know what I'm saying? It's a different situation and you gotta approach it different ways. You want to hear both sides of how you would approach the subject. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for listening. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Hello. Yeah, you on there? Yeah, man. I just want to start by saying, Avery, you're a savage. I respect you for, you know what I'm saying, taking that uh, side because I don't think anyone else in the room would, and I wouldn't either. Because I think over time, like, the girls are going to look for you to be more into the kid's life. Like, as time goes on, she's going to give you bigger hugs. And that's what they can do, you know what I'm saying, to handle all that. And me personally, I got a little president. Five years old, a dealer, he a savage. <laughs> I would never raise that boy. <laughs> <laughs> he runs the house. He definitely run the house, man. I mean, I mean, I do agree with you. I mean, I mean, some dudes not gonna do it, but I'm saying that I just had to walk into a situation where the baby was already five to seven years old, running things around there. I didn't have to deal with that. Yeah, but you still take care of the baby. This is true. One of one two is still more responsibility because they don't know as much. So you gotta watch over for more. This is true. So you know what I'm saying? A child regardless of the age is still a big responsibility. Exactly. Yeah. Either way. Yeah, either way. Yeah, either way. It really is. So yeah? I did that. Thanks for calling in, bro. We appreciate, appreciate it, bro. It, All right. <laughs> Dante Oliver back here, man, talking about Buck Brothers, man. What? It's so silly, Buck man. Oh, man. Who we call Buck Brothers? Us and Mike. Wow. We appreciate the call, Mike. Yeah, bro, good looking out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, he right, though, man. I mean, like I was saying, that's a lot of responsibility, bro. I don't, I don't know lots of, a lot of dudes that would take on to that, man. Yeah, Mike made a good point. Yeah. But it wasn't, look, man, I didn't intentionally go in there like that. I was just like, okay, well, you know, <laughs> hey. I mean, yeah, yeah you, I had, so I mean, you had your girl. I mean, yeah, you like, still yeah. loved her, so I mean, you, you like you loved her with or without the child. You feel? Yeah, but I was like, I, I mean, I looked at it like, okay, well, that's your past. Like, you know, everybody makes a mistake. I mean, probably not a mistake. I mean, but everybody, you know, does things. Everybody has something they're not proud of. Everybody has something they want to take back. Right. Who am I to judge that? Okay. Exactly. Correct. So, do you see like you walk in that relationship and you see the child is a burden for that person? You feel me? Like, how do you look at it? Like, you said a mistake. You know what I'm saying. You took it. You took it back. But I'm saying like uh. Is it like, is it a burden for them, or do you, or do you see it as like a, a blessing in the same sense? Like, how do you understand? Avery, I'm asking you. A child is never a burden, ever. I don't care how you look at it. A child is never ever a burden. 
a child is nothing but a blessing from God, either way you want to look at it. Mm -hmm. So if the person can't realize that, who you're with or who you're trying to you know, build a relation with, then that's their problem, as long as you realize that. That's how I was raised on it. Um, when, you know, as far as like little kids, you know, like getting like beaten, all that stuff like that, I don't like that. Like we was having a conversation about it yesterday in the room. Uh, a child did not ask to be on this earth. Right. So you don't have the right to sit up here and beat them all you want because, you know, they don't know the right from wrong. You know, you're supposed to teach them that, not just get all down and, you know, you know, all over their back about it. But um, other than that, it should never be a burden. Like I said, it should never be a burden. It should be, you knew what you was doing when you laid down and you had sex. You know what you was doing when you decided to keep that baby. Let's let's be real. Let's be totally honest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we done you covered that him. before. You feel you, me? And that dude know what he was doing when he stepped into that role. And female, if we if we switching them around. Right. Yeah. You knew what you was doing. But still that has nothing to do with you because that's their past. See, so either you're gonna accept it or not. You're gonna shoot or you're gonna dribble. It's, <laughs> it's just it's just <laughs> no other way around with it, man. No pump faking. Hey bro, but you know another aspect of this that we really ain't covered on? The slash the baby mom slash baby dads. You gotta think about it, man. Mm -hmm. Like y'all, they, they coming back into y'all relationship. Then there's tension right there, and then the child's getting them, the the, the kids getting the middle. And man, you feel me? So right. it's like, no, this I mean, y'all rolling the sleeves up. Rolling the sleeves up. Let me get real. I'm about yeah, to sit here and get real salty. Go ahead, man. Never ever be, and it makes me so mad because our society right now, this not know the difference. Go ahead, man. Never ever be, and it makes me so mad because our society right now does not know the difference. Y'all sitting up here and y'all will really put a child in between you and a relationship with a, with another dude. That's or dude or female that's not the mother or father has nothing to do with them. You always need to put the child first before anything else. That's the problem today. It really is the problem. If this female and or dude can sit up here and say, "Well, you spend too much time with your daughter or son, or will you get too much attention, or right. this, that, and the third, why are they still there in your house? Why are they still sitting up there laying with you every night? That makes no sense. Yeah, yeah. If they can't respect the baby first, then how are they gonna respect you? Exactly. That's your life. Wow. Yeah, that's why the sleeves was rolling. Yeah, that's yeah, that's 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 man. Cause that's yeah, how. Right. I, shout out to my mother, cause that's the only way I learned that lesson in life. He put the phone down and everything. My yeah. mom didn't. My mom didn't bring any dude around me until I was maybe I don't know, man. My mom about to call me and tell me this, but I think it was about the age of fifteen, maybe. She didn't bring any dude around me. Even at that, my bad. She didn't even start dating until that age. So she didn't even. I didn't even meet any dude until maybe about a little, you know, a couple years later. That's how much it meant to her, and that's where I learned that from. Because if some dude can't respect me first, then how's she gonna respect her? It makes no sense. It, it's just it just doesn't. And for the same instance, if you know a female doesn't really care about you or the baby, my bad for that instance. So then therefore she doesn't care about you because the baby is a representation of yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. You gonna sit up here and all she wanna do is ask you about, oh well, how was your day? Oh, well, what did you do today? Right. Oh well. When we gonna have sex? Or when you gonna come over here? When you gonna do this on the third? Knowing you got a baby, how about you ask me? Well, how, how the baby do today? Oh, I know they went to daycare today. Well, how was that? Was it hard? Oh, okay. You need me to do this? You, you need, need me to do that? Okay, favorite. Right. Yeah, like, awesome. yeah, like, dude, you, you, you gotta care because, right. yeah. just like Kendall said, man, what you gonna put into that child is how much you care about that woman. Exactly. Even if it is just a helping hand. So she, if they're a single parent, they need to help a hand at all times. The more love you show towards the child is basically the that's it. I mean it's a reciprocation yeah. of, you know, your love for them. I swear, man. Y'all man, y'all got me up here and preaching, man. You got him up here hot, man. Oh, we all Avery can talk about it 24 7, man. You know what I'm saying? You can talk about this honestly, you can talk about this subject for hours. But we need your input, you know what I'm saying? 419 4 man. man. I'm talking about texting my phone, telling don't me. Don't text his phone. Don't just call this phone. Don't, don't tweet me. Don't tweet Don't tweet, tweet. Don't We do will it. say that, though. But I would rather y'all call in. Right. Mom, if you're listening, you can call in right now. Because you yeah, you, but, you taught me that you, you can preach this subject all day long. Mom, you hear me? You can call in, too. It don't matter. Anybody call in. Please tell me. You didn't have Kendall call in. He didn't spoke his opinion. I mean, what, I mean, what else do you need? Like, people, y'all need to call in. This is a very important topic. Like, you know, because this is everyday life. This isn't like our Black History Month topic. This is like anything else. This is something right. that happens to something you right that's now. This is something that's going to go beyond the month of February. Yeah. You know what I mean? This can happen to you right now, though. Like, you can go out, out, you know, you can go outside and say, damn, she cold. She's my language. And then be like, oh, wow, she got a little baby with her. It can happen right now. Right. Right now. Yeah, man, it's daily life. It's real life, though, man. But we'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? We're going to play a couple songs for y'all. Got to slide to the break right quick. Love y'all. Just so. In four minutes, bro, I'm talking about, oh. yeah, he might as well, oh. dude, ain't the oh. ringtone, man, that's it, so he might as well go ahead and make his man. ringtone, man. Yes, I'm talking about, like, I've been waiting to play that banger for so long. Oh, God, man. Kendall probably would have been all over my back for playing One Wish right now, but 
I just really don't even care. You're going to be so salty with the bangers, though, man. It's a real, it's a, it really is a banger, though, man. Ray J as an artist is terrible. <laughs> Personally, he's terrible. Man, but when you, objectively, he's terrible. <laughs> man, but when, yeah, that's a great song. <laughs> uh, man, but when you, when you think about Ray J, that's the only song I think about. Yeah, that's true. Every time. That's the, yeah, like, I'm talking about yeah. like man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that song was just so great. I'm talking about like, oh my we god. Phone, we got a phone call though, man. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Hello. Yes, you're alive on air. This is Gabby. Hey, guys, my little sister, man. Happening? Hey. Um. So this is to the topic. Um. So for some boys who had like, for example. Like slept around with multiple girls and stuff. How can you judge a woman for having a child when you could have easily been a father? That's a good point. That's a great point. That is, oh my God. <laughs> Go ahead and oh, oh you, my God. Because in many occasions, it's an accident that a, uh, that, a, that a woman has a child when you're young. So it's just um, like if they didn't do it, it Intentionally, it could happen to you unintentionally. That's true, man, but most people don't really think about it that way. I know, but that's just my viewpoint. I got you, some perspective for us. Yeah, I got you. That's just a, yeah, true, a true, true. Yeah, we feel it, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for calling in, young man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She hit me with the, mm-hmm, sorry, yeah. <laughs> a young and shedding some light on us like this, but what? Man, what? Oh that's God. a good point, though, man. But I mean, it just go back to show that a lot of y'all don't, don't be ready, you know, for some of the consequences of y'all actions, man. Y'all got to think about that. I really want Satara to call that, man. Is Satara yeah. playing around? Yeah, Satara. No, man, she just, she just asked me what the topic was because she just came in. I want her to call in anyway. I'm about to get on her back. She just came in? Yeah, she just came to the house, man. I want to get on her back. Oh, man. So I need her to call in. Y'all just now tuning in. The topic is um, how would you deal with or would you uh, talk to a... a Woman or female, or wow, what well, I'm tripping. Woman or female. <laughs> when you talk to a male or woman uh, with with a, with a child, that's the topic going right now. Let us know y'all opinion, like. Yeah, man. We, we ain't heard from no females really. No, so Tara just said. So Tara just said that she's gonna be quiet because she'll go in on this subject. Which I told her to call in. I want Ooh. you to. Yeah, honey, oh, I, don't man. Man. Yeah, I don't need her to be quiet. I need her to call in and say what's on her mind. Bro. Janessa, I know you out there too. I right. need you to call in. Don't be texting us. Call in and say what you got to say. Honestly. For real, man. Yeah, Janessa, I need you to call in before it's, you know, curfew bedtime. Get on these phone lines, man. <laughs> I need you to call in. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Y'all know the number by now. 419-448-2200. Call in. Life. Lock it in, man. Yeah, they, they ain't got to have it locked in by now, man. They know we do this every week. They all playing around. I don't, yeah, I don't know yeah. why. But, you know, if they do call in, they don't. Mm-hmm, you know, it really doesn't matter. But let's get on. Let's just move to the next topic. I don't know where Dante went. He's supposed to be our guest, but you know, I don't know where he went. But Dante did disappear, man. Oh, he had to slide off for a minute. Oh, yeah. 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 A conference call. He's a busy man. We yeah. had, you know, we had, you know, Wild Rangers um, topics because I don't think a lot of people know who he is. Dante is, um, he is an All American at Harvard University, um, and in this upcoming year, um, he's eligible for the draft, and he will be entering. Um, which would make him the second person from our school to go to the NFL. Hold on one second. Birds and the bees, what's going on? We ain't moving on to the next topic. She ain't having it. We ain't moving on to the next topic. Why not? No, not yet. This is her. We know. What's going on, nigga? I mean, for the people that, like, for your topic, messing with people with kids, I'm going to take offense to that because it is a lot of extra stuff going on in that person's life. And I guess they don't want to deal with drama. But from, from my standpoint, it was like, you don't have nothing to do with my kid at all. Like, I take care of mine. I don't ask nobody for nothing because you don't have nothing to do with my kid. Nor are you worthy of even meeting my kid. So, therefore, I just don't feel like you or my kid have anything to do with each other. So, that's not even to be a factor. True, but do you feel like that bond would be stronger, like you know what I'm saying, him getting to meet your kid? I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like because people are so temporary, and bringing people in and out of my child's life is so 
Like that was not gonna happen. I got you. I swear, bro. Yeah, I, I, I definitely feel that. Oh That's why I said like, to my mom ain't bring no dude to my life for the longest. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I like you don't ever want to like just bring people, like you know temporary people in and out. When, right. Exactly. It ain't, I mean, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be fair to your son, and it wouldn't be fair to nobody, child. Right? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, that's just unfair to be like, oh, I don't want to talk to nobody with kids, but I don't want to be no hypocrite or nothing, but I have a, a kid of my own, and I really don't want that baby mama drama in my life. Funny with a kid, but I just feel like, that's playing it. So, to anybody you talk to now, is there anybody you talk to now? What's that? Is there anybody, anybody you, you talk, talk to now? <laughs> they ain't your no business. Yeah, Let us know right now. What? Let us know that. Is it like you? No. You talk to anybody right now. Um, uh, maybe. What's his name? <laughs> oh, you tripping. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. You ain't got you ain't got to say his name. What's his Twitter name? Yeah, he is tripping. You are tripping. Is that is that is, is that just tripping too? And you tripping telling me that the same the person I fuck with name on air? Are you ashamed of him? No, I'm not ashamed of him. You ashamed he might have a baby mama somewhere? <laughs> are you ashamed that he might have a sideline somewhere? Oh man. Oh, oh, had the bang on me. Oh, wow. The tail had the bang on me. Oh, Dante, man. dude, I look. So, back to what I was saying. I want to, I want to, I to tell her to call in because she does have a child, so she can give a greater perspective on anything else, you know. Especially uh, her being a female. Right now, right? Especially because I'm being a female. First female But female. with Dante being here, Dante is not just anybody. Um, like I said, I mean, he is draft eligible and he is going into the draft and he is on the draft board, so. He will be on the team um, this upcoming draft. That's why we brought him in here. To give, um, you know, lo like a lot of people listen to celebrities more than they listen to um, a normal, like, you know, normal, like Joe Slow, like one of us to call in and, you know, say something. Oh, what's that? That's why we got a celebrity in here. Version of the Beast, you on live. The man called the liar. <laughs> She's a liar? <laughs> She's a liar. <laughs> why is she a liar? <laughs> She told me on Twitter that she couldn't respect a woman who talked to a guy who didn't who didn't uh, take care of their children. Wow. You know, I had no problem with that with her saying that. See, but then she just came on the show and said that her man had nothing to do with her child. So why is it not the other way around for a man's woman to not have anything to do with his child? So wow. is that a double standard? So is that a is, double standard? Is that a double standard? It has to be done. But is it a double standard? Huh? Is, is that, that a double, double standard? standard? It's a double standard from her. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get on double standards earlier than Wednesday? I, I don't do it. I'm trying to just call it out. I just don't want to call Michelle Ryan saying she doesn't want the guy to do anything with her child, but then say that she doesn't respect the woman who left him with a guy who doesn't do anything with his child. It's just like, like her being in that child's life, but she just said she didn't want to marry her child's life. She's a liar. She just can't call anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. She can't call her back, man. <laughs> and that's all I had to say. I just... That woman's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me know that she's a liar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right, man. Candela's a silly dude, man. Man, Terry, yeah. yeah, man. Terry, man. He at your neck. Other than that, From all the way back home. He ain't, <laughs> in, he ain't in, in, in the studio with us. This is what the show is still about, though. I mean, is it? I mean, it is, you know, Kendall, as funny as it is, stating his opinion on how you felt about Terry's comments. And that's what we want. We want feedback from everybody, you know. Uh, if we want all to circulate. But like I was saying, again, Dante, um, he is going to be something special um, one of these days. And he's working on uh, one of these days. One of these days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the exact day to drive. Sue me. I don't know the exact day to drive. I'm sorry. You know, hey. Silly, look, man. Hey, man. He was playing around with the stats earlier, man. I had to look him up for y'all. Real quick, I'm you played around with him. That's your breath, man. Those no, no stats. A <laughs> homeboy, man, uh, Dante. This senior season, he had 57 receptions. 
a total of 1,022 yards. That's 102 yards a game. That's crazy. 17.9 average every time he catches the ball. And then what does he do after he catches the ball? Oh, he, he runs. runs. He runs? He runs. What's the yak looking like? The yak is 17. 18 yards. That's 17. 18 yards. Wow. wow. That's the first down every trip. Yeah, that's the first down every trip, man. You can't go wrong with it. 14 <laughs> touchdowns this past season. We only played 10 games, so you do the math. It was a good season for my man. He's a savage. America. So look, man. That's a man tipping. We wanted to have. <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> we wanted to have a celebrity on here so y'all can listen to his opinion more. Y'all can listen to us. Say like, okay, well, this is you know he's a you know he's a normal guy too. Okay, but well, this is how he thinks about certain things. <laughs> nah, I'm, you like? I'm I ain't nothing special, man. Hey, real quick, you real quick. everybody else, you something special? Y'all my brothers, man. Yeah, you know because saying? we know you. We see you every day, but everybody else is like, oh wow, it's such a crazy. He's such a lead. He matters. He matters. That's just how our society is. Everybody else doesn't. No, 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 I'm telling you, man. A lot of people like you know. They know. Like, they know where, where we at right now. Yeah. I who I had a who? Is it Tiffin? Who? Where? Where that's at? That's what I'm saying, man. So I, I mean, for you to be, mean. I mean, yeah, for real, homie. For you to be, you know, doing it so big, man, and and, and you know, and striving, you know, and just you know, succeeding, man. I mean, it, it's something big. You feel me? Yeah, I appreciate so, I mean, that, man. Me yeah. a lot. It, it really is, though, man. When I got here, I was sold on Heidelberg through, through Hallett. Hallett came to my school. Mike Hallett's our coach, you know what I'm saying? And he came to my school, and he was telling me, like, uh, you were in the same predicament as our, our, a guy we once had here named Mike Preston. He was, mm-hmm. Mike Preston was a guy who went to the NFL. Um, fortunately, he made it out. Um, he went to Scenic Route and took the Heidelberg route. You know what I'm saying? He made his, made his dreams come true by going to the NFL out of Euclid, you know what I'm saying, high school. And, from Cleveland, just like myself, and he made that comparison and said that could be me. Just you? And we're seeing that. Just you? Yeah. And we're seeing that. Um, <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> yeah. We're seeing the, like, this is real life. He they wasn't just, play for the Dolphins now, He man. wasn't just talking crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? This is Dante. He was following in, in his footsteps, and he's making it, making things happen. Definitely Trying, great man. Yeah, bro. But hey, Dante, man, go to the mic, man. Tell these people your story, man. Tell them how you. Yeah, tell man, them what's up. Tell them what happened in high school, man. Tell them how you got here, bro. I like yeah. this mic. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, quick. Birds and bees, you live? What's going on? Nothing. I'm just trying to uh, Dante. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you start talking, what is your name? What city you call it from? I'm Janessa. Okay, we know that, but everybody else is listening. We don't know. They don't know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, who was that? Hi. It's all good. It's all good, man. What's good? Nothing. I was just saying, uh, good job. Keep up the good work to everyone in the studio, including Dante. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank um, I mean, I would just say the women, they kind of have more baby mama stuff about it. It just seems like, but, um, I'll talk to you if I have any, I'll call up later. Please, please call in. Ain't, ain't this about to be the birthday girl? Yeah, that's right. Turn up. Turn, Turn up. Yeah. 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 Kendall's is on the 7th. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. We have a party at the Vibe at the end of the month. So that's pretty exciting. Slight promo. Hey, Klaus, go ahead. 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 Go I mean, never just shut down. What do you think you get now? Thanks. You called me, Janessa. Yeah, thanks for the love. You're welcome. Time, so we appreciate it. Keep it up, guys. All right, right. Thank Most you. definitely. You the realist. No, I mean, we do appreciate, you know, from time to time, somebody calling in and telling us how good We appreciate the love. love. We need the love, man, for real. No, I'm we really, like, all the, you know, man, we cracked over, like, 200 listening already. What, is that bad? I mean, he know how we started, man. I'm talking about this was an idea. A couple weeks back, man. Yep. Just an yeah. idea. I'm sitting in my room. I'm like, yeah, radio show. Hey. Yeah. Like, <laughs> All right. I, mean, I like it, though, man. Let's run down here with him, man. Let's run it down, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man. What's up? What's up? Wait, no. Oh, man, we got to go to a... Oh, God. We're not doing nothing. Birds and the bees, what's going on? You live on air. What's good, man? What's going on with you? 
Oh yeah, man, we trying, man. It's not like you in the basement though. Hey, you cut your radio down, G. No, man, we chilling. Yeah, man, I want to say, hey, I don't really have no mask, man. I'm out here with you, man. Every time I wear my Hyderabad stuff, everybody, everybody knows what it is. You know about John Taylor, and everybody know what it is. Yeah, man, we got that thing, man. 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 Oh, yeah, for sure, man. That's we appreciate good, it. Bro. We miss you, bro. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. All right, good luck. Good luck. Man, you keep it up, bro. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah. I mean, that's love right there, all the way from Columbus, man. You know what I'm saying? Calling down, showing love. We appreciate that. Yeah, man. Shout out my homie Fred, man. He was here with us last year. Oh, Fred. Yeah. Wow, Fred. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fred. What's up? Yeah, man. Definitely. But like, like I was uh, about to say, we do got a subtopic off of this, you know what I'm saying? That's why, we, that's why we wanted you to tell oh, yeah, the story. Yeah. That was my subtopic, wasn't it? Yeah. I was so excited for this one. We're yeah, like, it's all about like we got these receivers out here setting a bad name for um, what? Ohio and receivers, Josh Gordon to be. <laughs> 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 Come on, Josh. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But we yeah. got to talk about it because like you, you, you see somebody in that in that limelight and the foot in the throw it all the way. Just, just with a snap, you know what I'm saying? It, exactly. it really doesn't matter to them, you know what I'm saying? With so much talent in it, or for, for it all to be wasted, and just like uh, for you to forget where you come from, your roots, you know what I'm saying? Like, was your parents or whoever whoever got you there help, help get you there for you to waste it for them, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about that? Man, that's just, I don't feel like it's a waste of talent, but I feel like it's a point of time in your life where you gotta man up basically and know what you gotta do in life, and if it's something that you ain't supposed to be doing, just don't do it. Shut yeah. up, bro. Oh my gosh. If it's something that you ain't supposed to be doing, just don't do it. Like if they tell you not to do something, it's not really that hard. You know what I'm saying? You're getting paid millions. You can't stop doing something if you're getting paid millions. I feel it, man. That's why you, you had, I was I was about to flip <laughs> over here, man. You said waste of talent, bro. Like so this you man has had so many opportunities, bro. So you, you know telling me that you don't believe in any of the excuses? No. You tell me you don't believe that Johnny Menzel needs to go to rehab. Just just because he's talking about he needs to be a better person. Bro, first off, who they? Don't nobody care about John. Oh, 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 you know what's crazy? You'll mess around and go to the Browns. That'd be live, though. Oh, it would be live, yeah. Then I'd be live, yeah. Anybody talking about and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But would you, um, we do have a lot of, like, you know, not just football players, but football players, basketball players, rappers, singers, they, I mean, they, like, blow up and they forget about where they came from. Would that be you? Not at all. I never forget where I came from. It's been on my body since I was 16. You know what I'm saying? How could I forget where I came from? And especially Heidelberg. It's been four long years here. Never could forget it. You know what I'm saying? I build myself around y'all. Y'all build yourself around me. I just want to be something great. And I want everybody else to be great with me. That's that captain talk. I feel you, bro. But hey, <laughs> hey, 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 we ain't never give him a chance, though. We ain't never give him a chance, though, man. Explain your, your story, man. How, how Where you came from and, oh, yeah. uh, and coming out of high school and how you got here, bro. Just go ahead and tell the people. That's just going to break, man. Yeah, real quick. It's all good. Uh, I wasn't nothing special in, in high school or nothing like that. My sophomore year was my first year playing receiver ever. I was a running back all my life. Number 28. Every jersey I had was 28, man. Right. Lucas number ever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was number 83 in high school, and I didn't have a single catch until probably my junior year. And I dropped a lot of footballs my junior year, man. Then my senior year came. I only had, like, 15 catches for, like, 150 yards. Then I tore my ACL, my MCL, and my meniscus. That's a whole lot. Yeah, this located my knee. Y'all know about them knees, yeah, man. Yeah. Devastating. I was down, man. Then um, I thought I was done playing football. But, you know, this dude at my school, he had cancer in his knee. And he can't play football no more. And, and if I had the opportunity to play football, again, I told him I would. And his number was 11, and that's the reason why I'm number 11. And um, he actually beat cancer. He had bone marrow cancer or something like that in his knee. So he got still rise, so he can't run or jump or nothing like that. So I'm, I played through him. I played for him. So, you know what I mean? 
just give him hope. Still got him going. That's right, so, right there, man. That's that's real. Yeah, Heidelberg gave me a chance, so I took it. Now they build me into something great. I just want to keep it going. No question, man. That's live right there. That's you know what I'm saying. That's the topic right there. For True you come story. From, who never forget where you come from? You know what I'm saying? You got to live on his back for a reason. Yeah. That's life right there, though. We appreciate that. You know what I'm saying that story. Good time, man. man. I like spreading stories. Okay, you heard why he signed us off like twice now. Like, he's recording all the time. Oh, so, man, he's all over me. Do you want to sign us off? A good way, the right way, a Dante die way? Oh, shucks. All right, let me try. <clears throat> Birds and the bees, and we out. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I sit up here and say that we playing some terrible Yeah, music. man, because it, because it just takes me, man. All over. Yo, man, all over this, man. Nah, man, Yo, no, man. No, man. No, man. No, Real serious. Yeah, man. Say <laughs> <laughs> like we ain't never. You wasn't at the stage again. <laughs> oh, my man, God. Man. We ain't never really heard Whoever that. Whoever that was, like, man, you about to make every plane. Bro. We ain't never really heard that. So oh, don't like, do it. Besides, like one time we was playing the Isaac Brothers, which everybody else like besides one person. <laughs> but. If you feel like that I'm playing some terrible music, then you tell me what you want to hear. Yeah, you come right. here talking about some cheap keep, I'm flame you. <laughs> Dude, I'm talking about quality music. You ain't playing no cheap on there, bro. Not at all. Like the clothes I claimed, the clothes I just came to cheap was Ray Shrummer, that we, and it was terrible, and I couldn't even live through it. But it's a banger, so you know, hey. You gotta listen to cheap keep if it's a banger. You wanna hear some lyrics? Don't put them in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't put them in. Yeah, because he's he's pretty terrible. He's up there with Ray J. Ray J. No, no. You talking about that man favorite song? No, no, no. <laughs> Just not talk about one wish, Ray J. Man, man. we gotta get to this topic, man. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit this next topic, though. This topic is: uh, Do you think? How do? What do you think about social media and relationships? You know what I'm saying? Is it? Uh, can it, it can be detrimental to relationships. So, is it necessary or like? What do you? How do you feel about it's it? Is it, really is it necessary? Yeah. What's the difference between keeping your relationship? Public private, private, without keeping y'all business public. Not having it. Not having it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we gonna, I mean, we gonna let Dante speak on this first thing. Oh God, he's the smoke. Yeah, because he's a piece of shit. What's up with all these women crush Wednesdays? You know what I'm saying? Anything. We need oh, a lot of mics today. Not having it. I'm not having it. I mean, you can get it. You may can get it with women crush Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? But probably not. You know what I mean? I'm not having it. I'm not having it. You know how many questions I'm gonna get asked? Oh, who is this? Nacho cheese. It's not. Like, I'm not you, but like, I have no clue. <laughs> I'm not having that Woman Crush Wednesday. No, don't give me no MCM, because you ain't getting no WCW. I'm not having that, bro. Y'all y'all be doing it. Avery the King. Avery the King. I don't know about that. Avery the King. What? I'm the King. You're the King, bro. Your last three pictures. It's WCW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not having that. 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 I don't want to have to get all over this man's back on this radio. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't be on your back, bro. have to do it. All right, man. So that means we need your opinion, boy. I haven't posted Women Crush Wednesday in the past three years until I just did it. Like, what? Um, three years? I wasn't even on Instagram I three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on Instagram three years ago. I knew that in the last it, it, No, Instagram did come out about three years ago, right? I wasn't on that joint, bro. Oh, or whenever it started. I haven't. I've never done it. Like, my, like I just did it like my first time. Like, I didn't. I really just did. We got a perpetrator in here. Oh, wow. Man. I, I did. Yeah, and they about to call in and kept it. He about to get all over your back. Then, am, am I lying? The one time I did do it was when I got in trouble with one of my ex-girlfriends and it went up and then it went right back down. Okay. Well, that's, it a went up. that's a question. It went up. That's a question. It went up. That's a question. But, have, but have you two remember me to ever post one of the first Wednesdays? Ever. I probably mo- I, I probably post. I, I know you did it once. That's yeah. that's all yeah. I remember. Well, I probably yeah. posted it was this multiple, once. He was multiple pictures, like Dante said. He right, yep. but I mean, but yeah, you did it. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I remember you. I probably post many one Chris Wednesdays as Ken Dale posts. Oh, no. <laughs> gotta make this man call in. No, <laughs> <laughs> he about to call in. Look, man. man, we definitely need y'all to call in on this topic. Like, mm-hmm. Call in 419-448-2200. We need y'all opinions on this. I know y'all probably just tweeted one today, but man, first Monday, y'all females out there, you know what I mean? Yep. So we need to know how y'all feel about it. But uh, quick question for y'all: Is a man or is a woman crush Wednesday only getting thrown out there? And she's all over your back asking you why. Yes. You know, ran on yes. So you're not yes. gonna post it yourself. Yes. You're gonna, you're not yes. You're gonna fill it by you. Oh you my God. Right, 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 we got a phone call, man. Birds and the bees, what's happening? You know this is Jadel. <laughs> <laughs> when she's she was on the Wednesday thing. See, you know, 
I, I've done it before. I've done it twice in my whole life of having Instagram. And you know what I'm saying? I feel like if a girl gonna pressure you to post a picture on a social network, then you just shouldn't talk to her. If she's pressed to be seen that bad, then she just she maybe she just her her mind is in the wrong place. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what it, when you get them you gotta think about like who you messing with. Is she young or is she older? You messing with a girl? She's 18 years old. She's old. I want to be on. The, I want to be on Instagram and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You get a girl a little bit older. They on some mature stuff. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know. Uh, my my brother girl. She she like. You know what I'm saying? She little or she like. I delete my Instagram if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? The, the girl of our age won't even do that. You know what I'm saying? You like. You know what I'm saying? She posted too much. I want you to delete your Instagram. She won't delete that app. She need that app. You know what I'm saying? We live around social networks nowadays, and that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, I feel that. We, 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 we need, we need them women. We need them women. Yeah. You know, that's when the problems come in. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going to just talk to her, man, just because. Just because I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to do this just how I like it. And people making up rumors and stuff, and you got to worry about all that extra stuff. Dude, it, and it's just even more annoying because now nah, you can't even. I mean, like, even if you want to do Women Crush Wednesday or, you know, whatever you want to do, you can't even. Oh, you can't even tag their name because people are just so crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't even tag them, right? You got to up them and you just had a picture of you. And then people get too thirsty. It, it's a problem, though, you know what I'm saying? It, it's crazy. But, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, as a female, don't be thirsty. You know what I'm saying? If you're really pressed to be seen like that, then I feel like it's a problem. And, you know, you should be solid without a social network. We were solid before social networks came out when we were in relationships and stuff. So you, you shouldn't, it shouldn't be a nece necessity to be on your significant other's social network. Let me ask, let me ask you a question real fast. What's up? I just don't want to have to do it, man. They're all on my back about this one cross Wednesday that I posted. I've never posted before in my damn life. But Randy is, is he not the one cross Wednesday king? Dude, he must do it every week. Wow. Wow. I swear, bro, they up here all over my back, bro. I think he likes it more than Wordplay Wednesday. Wow. <laughs> Does he like it more than 707s, too? I think he likes it more than football itself. Wow. Wow. That's what it sounds like. The Randy. Wow, man. See, because Randy had Dante fooled here, man. He yeah. made it seem like that I was just the guy that does it every week, and it's Randy. No, yeah, Randy loves it. I don't know. He must get to text. Every Tuesday, I <laughs> like, don't forget to post me. Oh man, you pulled him up, man. <laughs> That's what I have to say, though, man. Social networks doing too much nowadays, man. Don't don't ask me for no woman crush Wednesday. I'm not asking for no man crush Monday. That's doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. But all right, all right, all right, all right bro. bro. That's what I'm saying. I, I agree. Mean, I, like, I mean, I feel like if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. I mean, I feel like it's not. It shouldn't be a necessity. Randy's about to blame you. I'm gonna need everybody to get their hands off me. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, man. Go ahead, stay how you look, feel, G. This is how I feel on the topic. Get your hands off. <laughs> <laughs> you got everybody's all over me. Um, I post oh, an occasional woman crush Wednesday. I don't see anything occasional? wrong with. Okay, you know, every. Uh, you know? It's not every week, bro. Don't get out of hand with me. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. I'll let you talk real quick because I gotta get some off my chest too. <laughs> First, it you live. I hope you didn't think you weren't gonna hear from me this week. <laughs> I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a host from across the city. I was hoping you was gonna call, bro. It, it's been a long day, <laughs> but I had to check up on the show. I hate everything about Woman Crush Wednesday and Woman <laughs> Crush Monday because, first of all, nine out of ten of the posts is somebody you're with. Why is that your crush? That is your man already, or that is your woman already. <laughs> oh, wow. I swear. Exactly. How bad chicks want to be seen on Instagram? Like, I can't post you and go cheat anyway. Like, they act like that's, like, going to save them. Like, yeah, I'm on his Instagram page. That's cool. Your friend is still DMing me, like, oh, y'all back together or what? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, like, nobody cares about it realistically. Like, I'll, I'll go on a chick's page when I'm single and see that she posts the same MCM 
every Monday, and I'll probably still shoot at her. <laughs> 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 He really is talking. Yeah, that kid is real, man. He really is, though. And, and too, on, on top of the fact that nobody cares that that that's up there or not, it's like, like, it don't, why are you so pressed? I can't stand like when somebody be like, yeah, like, like, I done got the text like, yeah, today, you know, today Wednesday. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> asking me, why are you asking me to post you? Obviously, it's not genuine. Because if, if I didn't just post you and you called and asked me and then I posted you, I didn't mean it anyway. I only posted you for the sake of not arguing with you because you brought it up. Like, Quick question though, know what I'm saying? You're talking about crushes and all this stuff. What if you actually went with this female and she wanted you to post her, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I don't mean it. Like, I don't really care about posting you on Wednesday. I would much rather post my Wednesday word, which is a lot more important than a picture of you. <laughs> 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 He's just too He's real. Ready to keep it so real. Hey man, Aubrey, right, man, Randy got a question for you, bro. What's up? Yo, you talking about the crushes and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying, I just had a uh, somebody text me asking, what if you, what if y'all were in a relationship? How do you feel about that at that point? Well, yeah, I mean, in a relationship, I still feel the same way because me posting you on my, like, like for example, in my relationship, I've had this argument because. Like she likes woman, she likes woman crush Wednesday and all that stuff, and I feel like it doesn't mean anything. Like I've told her, like I've I literally posted a woman crush Wednesday, and then like a chick will call me like yeah, da da da, like who just liked it. So like it doesn't mean anything. Like nobody respects it. They be like oh that's cute. They like it. They put the hard eyes under it and everything, and then right after they put send on the hard eyes, they'll put send on the. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> yes, <laughs> man. Really? <laughs> so, you know, I just, I think, you know, yeah. it's cool from time to time. If, if maybe you just felt mm -hmm. like, 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 dang, she looked at cold today. I'm going to post my girl if you happen to be Wednesday. But as far as, like, you calling me, like, yeah, it's Wednesday. You going you gonna to post me at your crush? Like, what? For what? Are you insecure with your position in our relationship? Well, let me ask you a question, Randy. So, how should Randy feel? Because Randy's girlfriend doesn't have an Instagram. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Randy's like the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. My girl didn't have an um, a Instagram because you don't even have to have those arguments or debates. Like, yeah. you don't have an Instagram. I'm not going to post you because you can never post me back. So, there, end of argument right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm ready. She doesn't have a Twitter either. So, she's like non social media user at all. Nothing at all. Well, then, that, that's just like the ultimate women. Like, <laughs> you're on the Charlie team. <laughs> About any of the things that most relationships you know, have arguments over nowadays because a lot of arguments do come from social media. Like, for example, I posted uh, my girl as a woman crush Wednesday. It was the year before this year, which was, I don't know, 2014, New Year or whatever. And I was out and I had saw my ex. And my ex had, we had took a picture, but it was all like, it wasn't nothing crazy, but she happened to have on red pants. And I had on black and red shoes with all black. So my girl was all like, y'all was matching, da, 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 I post my, post my WCW me. so she noted it. Okay. Wow. So I posted WCW and my ex commented on it like, oh, this is nice. And my girl went off. Like, why does she think she can comment on this? This is me and you. And I was like, well, you kind of told me to post it so that she could see it. How are you mad now? You know, they, they take that stuff way too serious, which kills the fun in it. Like, if nobody cared about it, how they care about it, I might be all for it. Like, if I could post another chick as my WCW, who's not famous, just because she's attracted. We, me and my girl might both sit there and agree that she's attracted. I'll be like, all right, I'm going to throw her up. But you can't do that. It, it's not that type of game. Then you got trauma and beef or you posted her, la 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 And it's like, it's not worth it. It's, it's a... It's a it means nothing. At the end of the day, I could delete my social network tomorrow 
And that doesn't mean that me and you are done because I can't post you on Wednesdays anymore. Like, it really doesn't mean anything. And they, they feed into it way too much. I am happy for you. <laughs> Keep her off of those social networks, and, and you'll probably marry her. <laughs> it's crazy, man. We say he was gonna be the first one to get married out of all of us. They all over me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His girl isn't on social media. He probably will be the first to get married. They'll probably have approximately seventy nine percent less arguments in their relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, thanks for calling that, hombre. Good luck. No problem, y'all. <laughs> That's our host from across the way, man. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah, wouldn't yeah. be right without that man to call in. Oh, my God. He keeping it real, though, man. I mean, that's real life. You know what I'm starting to think? What? What's up, bro? I'm starting to think Randy's making up his girlfriend. Wow. What? Let's make that tale. <laughs> <laughs> man, I can't even see Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is 2018. Hey, let's go ahead. Who's going on, man? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Person of what's going on, man? <laughs> Hey man, just to piggyback off of what everybody said. Oh, this is pretty, by the way. So um, <laughs> no one hates Woman Crush Wednesday more than me. More than you? More than me. <laughs> you know, I've been looking around for that. <laughs> exactly. So long, and I've only posted one. You know, I just feel like there's no point in doing that if you, if we're already together. And I already have taken you out in public. We're going on dates. It's obvious that we are in a relationship. I'm tweeting tender things. What is the point? Why do I have to do that? What is? Why are girls so pressed to do that? That we have to post you as a Women Crush Wednesday. You know, it's already obvious. And they think that that's the most important thing in the relationship. And it just doesn't make sense to me. No, I feel like um, I feel like it's a whole territorial thing. Like, like they feel like they want everybody to know that you're all together, and they got you and nobody else do. Which is which is real petty, but that's just how they act. Do they want my Instagram? Because my first comeback is, if my Instagram, it's not your Instagram. I'll put pictures of me. But you know, this, you know, that's gonna lead to another argument, yeah. man. I swear to God, yeah. you know that. Oh yeah, I, I know, man. You know all too well. You know all too well? Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, I just had to call and say that Mike gets no yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. Hey, man, get him out of here, man. Oh, my yeah, God. Man, man. That's so silly, though, <laughs> man. Y'all know, like, he's playing real crazy on the radio right now. Hold on, man. Hold on. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Um, nothing. Two calls in one day, guys. Oh, it must be the first. Yeah, oh, wow. but um, I just wanted to completely agree with the gentleman that called in before, speaking as a female, like, disregarding, like, Woman Crush Wednesday and Man Crush Monday or whatever. Social media gives more problems to relationships in regard in regards to arguments, in regards to not interacting as well with each other. Like, Look, our yeah. grandparents didn't have any problems, like, compared to what we do now. Like, they... And they have a last relationship, lasting marriages and stuff like that. And I just like social media has ruined that for us, for sure. Mm. I can agree with that. Yeah. You know, communicated a lot better. There wasn't any texting, and then all of a sudden you meet them, and then they're completely different. Or any, uh, it, it gave it that awkwardness, you know, like calling late at night and stuff like that. Like I don't know. I just think it causes more problems, even not regarding posting pictures or anything like that. It ruins bonding and all the other good stuff. It just makes it so artificial. Yeah. I got you. Whereas, parents, it was 100% real. They didn't have the same arguments that we do now. And I think that causes a lot of problems in relationships nowadays. Hey, we appreciate the, the call. You calling, Janessa? Welcome. Hi, bro. Yeah, man, but like I was saying before. Oh, God, he's so excited. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, was. We're playing real crazy on the radio right now. Acting like if you were in a conversation with your girl right now, she brought up the question, why am I not on your Instagram? And you was all like, well, I don't see why you need to be on there. And it's my Instagram. I just post pictures of myself and all this other stuff. You know, the first things out of her mouth would be, first thing out of her mouth would be, you just don't want Oh, God. Your other O's. Oh, God. I'm going to beat myself. You guys don't want to see your other O's 
to see me all on your Instagram. I think this is Kendall. This might, it might be. be. Price of bees going off. Yeah, something just really crossed my mind. <laughs> and the thing that just crossed my mind is that, Randy, you must have met your girlfriend at Tommy for Martin's job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm starting to like he did that. they sparked it in my mind when they said it. Wow. This guy. This guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's probably best friends with Tommy himself. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> she probably is making big bank. Yeah, yeah, she's probably down there at the job making all the money. <laughs> I got a job though. Sorry, <laughs> right, Joe. All right, bro. Oh my God, oh, Randy! Man, you're not talking to Man Tateo. This is Randy on the radio, and I can assure you that my girlfriend is alive and well. <laughs> I just got the text from her telling me she's taking care of Valentine's Day plans as we speak. Hey, man, I call hey, every y'all pulling up the Woman Crush Wednesday picture, man. He did, man. Look Sorry, man. Don't read it, bro. Oh wow! He's about to read the caption. Don't do it, bro. I don't want to do it. Whatever, no. Man, let's take a vote, man. Forbes in here who wants me to read it. Oh my god. Who want me to read this, man? You read it. Bro, uh, you pulled it up. If Kendall right. was in here, you think he want me to read it? Of course. It's been eight months with a young big head. <laughs> Times is flying at this point. As much as I get, as much as she gets on my nerves, I couldn't be happier. Y'all ever heard of catfish? Photoshop crazy these days. <laughs> The greatest man in Photoshop, man. I'm just seeing so many bangers in there. <laughs> wow. She's a good look already, though, man. No, I'm just playing, man. Proud of her, man. Yeah, silly, man. Got a beautiful young lady, man. Hey, Appreciate it, bro. But what you don't yeah. want to have, you don't want to have her call in here, Dante. Put her hands all over <laughs> Oh, wow. She's, she's going to be on me. She's I'm crazy, sorry. Bro. She's real, guys. She's, she's, real. Real. <laughs> she's real. Trust me. Oh, man. She's crazy, bro. Oh, wow, don't say that. I try to hit you with the tape. No. Definitely go call in. <laughs> she really is crazy. Yeah, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> I got, I'm on her side if she listening. I'm still on your side if she wasn't. Yeah, man. Shout out to Alicia. Oh, she listening right now? Yeah, she has to be listening right now. She better is she, be. Is she listening? She been whooping our show for her. Yeah, man. She's a fan. Yeah, she don't got no choice. You feel me? Yeah. We're going to have like around like 15 minutes left when we come out from break. So oh, yeah, but definitely call in and hit these lines, though. 419 448 2200. We'll ask y'all call when we get back on so break. Who want to sign us off this time? It would have to be the man Juice. Birds and the Bees, man. We up out of here. We'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> i not all excited at the end, man. Yeah, but man. We, we loving the feedback, though. We need it, for real. And yeah, for everybody sitting here talking about, you know, we don't play enough bangers for y'all. Then, uh, how about y'all tune in instead of tuning in the last 10 minutes of the show? Devin. <laughs> my man. Or how about you coming here? Or how about you go find some clean songs for us to play? Or how about you mix them yourself, Devin? How about that? Until then, shut it up. <laughs> so, you on his back, man. Back to the, man. Yeah, back to this social media stuff, man. Right. Y'all, y'all gotta chill, for real. Like females, like, y'all, y'all want to be seen and everything, but, but like Andre was saying, man, it's not gonna, it's not gonna change much. Like it's not gonna solve anything, man. It's not gonna stop. Go ahead, man. Hit this phone line. Birds and the bees, what's going on with you? Hello. Yes, you are live on air. Oh, I'm on air. <laughs> right now. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you, you are right now. Okay. Um, this is Patrice. Hey. What's good, Trace? Oh, what's good, Trace? Good morning. I'm, I'm calling about the topic that you all just said is over, but I have a couple words to say about that. You said speak your mind. Go for it. Okay, first of all, Donald said something about um, how relationships, like, you know, whatever, social media ruins relationships and how that's, like, a problem or whatever. But, I mean, social media is, like... <laughs> That's gonna, the whole world is turning towards social media and internet right now. Like, everything that has to do with everything, you're gonna find it on the internet. Um, and second of all, there's a big difference between keeping a relationship on the down low versus keeping a relationship a secret. Click me, click like, me. every girl. What's the, wait, wait, wait. Tell me what's wait. the difference between that, though. Wait, trees, 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 trees. Yeah, tell me, tell, me, tell me what's the difference between that, though. Okay, keeping a relationship on the down low, y'all are just chilling, y'all know what it is. And that's fine. And you go out, you guys, you know, hang out. Exactly. Yeah, that's fine. But then there's another part where it's just like, 
you're making yourself look single on social media. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but you have to know the difference between when you're just keeping it low and you're just chilling versus when you are keeping it private. Like, you're really just not trying to, you don't want to show that person off at all. Okay, okay, okay. Um, one more thing. And when you're in a relationship, when you're with the person all the time, that makes sense. Like, okay, you, you're going to show that person off, you're going to hang out with them a lot, and whatever. But when you're not able to see that person that often, you're going to want, you're, you're going to like feeling, like, appreciated and recognized over social media or internet because you can't go out and be shown off and you can't hang out and feel special like that. So it's like a, it's like a whole different ball game. But all I have to say is that some girls do appreciate, even if it's not a woman crush Wednesday, they're going to appreciate some type of recognition or just love on the internet, on social media. Man, I, I do agree. I, I really do agree. I'm, I'm glad you called in with your opinion. But we have to go. I'll, Trace, thank you for calling. I swear, man. Thank you. Like, appreciate you you appreciate always call in and get some great insight. All the way but, from NY. Uh, yeah, yeah, I swear. NY? Yeah. Did that. <laughs> yeah, did that. Thanks, Trace. All right. Hey, what up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Yeah. And that's a real good point, too. Like, you know what I'm saying, at some point, a line's going to be crossed where it feels like you're, co you're covering up your relationship. You know what I'm saying? When do you... Like, how do you draw that line, or how do you, like, decipher yourself, or... I mean, I guess for what she was saying was, like, I mean, she uses it as a, like, a type of security blanket, you feel me? Like, yeah. she, she, it's, it's, like, reassuring that, you know, that... You Everything's know, smooth? Yeah. I got you. I mean, and that just depends on, you know, how solid your relationship is. I mean, some, some females may not need that. I got you. Birds and the bees is going on. You know, you and Trees can both go somewhere with that, Avery. Yeah, that was real nice how she got her perfect Instagram post quote on the air about the difference between hiding it and, and, and secret and all that. I was that was real nice. Look, Ombre, look, look, look. Let me let me just cut you off. <laughs> let me let me just cut you off right there, man. I had to appreciate her her opinion because she called it. She said her opinion. She you know, so I gotta say thank you. Am I you know am I wrong for that? No, it, it's not. It's not that you're wrong for saying thank you, but you just very publicly stated that you agree with her opinion. Dude, I didn't even have the headphones in. I didn't hear nothing she said. Well, yeah, you, you, you also, you just said that you agree with her opinion, which is why you two are now grouped together with her terrible opinion. <laughs> but, you know, I just had to call in and, 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 and let her know that I caught her. <laughs> let her know that. <laughs> Yeah. All right, chill. All, All right, bro. Ah, oh, man, that's a that's a funny hey, dude. Movie. Cool, man. Yeah, dude, dude man. cool. <laughs> man, we wait. We wait on my dude Derek call, man. He he always has some good opinions on some subjects, and he just keep he can't get in because the phone lines just going so crazy. My oh, heart. This better be him. I hope this better. Okay. Birds and the bees is going on. Radio station. My bad. What? Huh? Bro, How'd you, you forget? That no. Oh my God! What's a dirty radio station? Sorry, I'm so sorry. I I I, I apologize. You're fired. He's Dude, fired. He's all right, all right. He's fired. Bro, wait, wait, wait. Establish the rest of your point, man, because we we had to cut you off. That's strike one. Okay, yes. Like I was saying, your boyfriend simply just doesn't love you. He doesn't want to broadcast you. He's ashamed of you, pretty much. Um, that's just being bled. From the go. Dude. <laughs> I just lost that title, man. Oh, oh man. man. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Never met the guy, just lost the title. <laughs> oh, <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, man. All right, Devin, man. Thanks for calling, bro. Easy, man. You're welcome. Oh, oh man. Yeah, God. we, we are welcome. I can't take this comment at this point, man. Yeah, he just revoked his license. But it's okay, man. We we definitely had a great show today. It's sitting 10 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? We got another show coming in in a minute. I had a lot of fun with y'all. It's time for us to go, bro. You got to yell like that, though? Yeah, I did, though. Exactly. Time for us to go. We hate you. I was kind of excited. You know what I'm saying? I'll be sad on Wednesdays because we'll be down for the week. So. Man, I just put the headphones on, too. I put a fish <laughs> Oh, man. Wow, we got oh one more God. call before the road. Hey, one more. 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 One more.
Oh yeah, follow me on Twitter at D O N T E E A. Yeah, don't type in Dante, it's spelled weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, <laughs> man. Alright, man. Good show, man. Y'all listening to Randy? Juice, Avery, and Dante. Y'all catch us back here on Wednesday, man. Oh, I know he, I know he ain't here, man. And Ken, and Kendall. Oh, yeah. Where, where, where y'all pointing to? He'll, he'll, he'll be back. back. Yeah, he'll be back. All right, Beach. Much love. Got it. Yeah. All right. Sir.